Uh, you know, every time there's a natural calamity, for a moment you see a sense of hopefulness in, in despair. And the hopefulness is that people show more empathy. And you hope that that empathy is going to have a long-lasting effect that will change people's mind where they will begin to see the beauty of being empathetic towards each other. And that's one thing that I'm beginning to, uh, to feel, you know, I shouldn't say sad about, but, but in a sense that why can't humans be more empathetic towards one another? See? Um, uh, there are a lot of positive stories around COVID of, you know, uh, nature coming back in, 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 in more than one ways. Uh, you see, you hear about extraordinary stories of care, of sharing, of compassion. Uh, but at the same time, you know, even wearing a mask has become a polarized political statement. And those are the things that, that uh, you know, is reflective of the world that we live in, society at large, which is that in, amidst this chaos of information and, and, and misinformation and so on, how do we reclaim, you know, the fundamental sense of being human? How do we reclaim the fundamental sense that, you know, we need to create a new kind of global tribe and it needs to be rooted in a sense of empathy, in a sense of, sense of compassion? Uh, and if that's something that we can learn from, from this pandemic, it will be uh, a worthwhile lesson. Uh, uh, you know, uh, the, and also the sense of solitude, I think, uh, is, is, is very, very important.